What is good, ladies and gentlemen? And here you guys have it. We have the Sparking Zero V Jump Scans official scans from the actual, like, from Japan. As you guys know, V Jump is like one of like these magazines. Don't know too much on it, but they drop very, very key information on upcoming Dragon Ball projects or games, anime, or whatever. And I have another video coming up for my, my roster predictions. You guys are doing very well on that video. Thank you guys so much. And so I have another video coming up on that doing a previous arc so i'll be doing them by arcs leading up until the release of sparking zero with all that being said we have the actual these are i want to say some of these are new but most of them are still the same screenshots as we saw in the trailer the only one that i see that is completely new is this one sitting right here with um hercule with that boom effect right there i, I assume that's like a, a special move i don't think we saw this one right here with goku flying around i think this one's just a little different um he ha seems to be again like it seems to me like he's dodging a blast or a beam blast but what i really want to emphasize here is like how the arena or how the camera looks to be like following goku in that way or going like going around that that rock or whatever and i just feel like the camera angles are going to be play a key to this like i know how arena fighters are when it comes to cam camera angles and stuff i feel like they're going to try to do something unique with this i feel like this is going to be a little bit more cinematic if that makes sense and i don't know i feel like they're going for something real real st i think they're going for style points with this game i just want to i want to emphasize that i think this game is going for style points i think this is all for flash not in a bad way but i feel like this game is made for us to get in and just just be flashy and access some of the biggest character rosters we, we've ever seen listen it has been confirmed that the roster is going to be historic it's going to be massive so they're going to have a lot of characters i hope i think it's been leaked but i hope they have characters from dragon ball daima and gt going in and yeah like i said sparking is all this i don't know how to i'm not going to translate all of this but again it's pretty much showcasing everything a V jump scan is actually also great because it shows that we're getting closer and closer to our release date. They're not going to drop a, G a V jump scan for some teaser or announcement. They literally just announced this game at Game Awards just off the rip. We were expecting another announcement at Battle Hour and they announced it at Game Awards. So my prediction is since we're getting this V jump scan, they're really putting all the marketing teaser trailer back in March. December announcement trailer wish list V jump scans leading up to battle hour battle hour show us tangible gameplay information let us pre-order release it I'm sorry battle hour if we're gonna get bro I, I am excited I'm actually people are like oh you know some people say oh don't don't keep your hopes up for a game I am putting my hopes high you know why because they've proven time and time again that we can see these stuff anywhere Game Awards? Who would have thought that a freaking Dragon Ball Z game would be shown at Game Awards? Nobody, give a, nobody, we understand that Dragon Ball is a very popular IP, billion dollar IP. We understand that the games are popular as well. But let's be real. The general population isn't waiting for Budokai Tenkaichi 4 like we are. They aren't waiting for Sparky Zero. General population probably doesn't care. So like the fact that they show this at a big event like the Game Awards, which is really big, bigger than like Battle Hour. It shows a lot, and I really appreciate them for giving us all this information this year. So they kind of like fanned it out. They've been in development for five years, since 2018. That's crazy. Then they fanned it out, dropped the teaser trailer, boom. March made us wait a little bit, no information. Dropped the announcement trailer at Game Awards, one of the biggest events, boom. Then you drop some V-Jump scans, boom, right? Literally telling us, you know, these are just like the screenshots, but they're literally telling us, hey, like, these are our stamped, this is our stamped footage right here. We, we, we got it done. Like, it's done. This is what we have. This is how it looks. These are the mechanics. These are your characters. Again, like one of the highest rosters we've ever had in, in a Take IET series. And so with all that being said, yeah, you're going to get, you're going to get something that no other Dragon Ball has gotten, in my opinion. And you're going to get a fan service Dragon Ball game made for the fans of dragon ball games and dragon ball and literally tailoring to the fans of dragon ball i i just wanted to say that three times because like i think this game is for the fans i think this is their love letter to the fans this is the okay we've made fighters 
you know we've made xenoverse you know we gave y'all our little take on being your own cack or being your own saiyan or being your own Majin or whatever uh we gave y'all kakarot y'all wanted some manga content and we you know we put we put ourselves into their stories and relived those manga stories and anime and manga slash anime but we know that kakarot is also based off manga and then they give us breakers you know npc you know hey we're gonna throw you guys in here okay cool all right cool we got all these games we got all these games fine fine we'll we'll give you guys something that you guys will, can't deny breakers okay cool xenoverse it went on for about seven years six five years strong and when i say five years strong i mean like that was when everybody was on it it's, it's got a good few bit of people playing still like a million players monthly that's actually very very good for a game that's only been out for like seven eight years but like before you know xenoverse is booming mate way, way more than that and so they was like okay cool all right we doing good now it's time to now it's time to drop the bomb now it's time to drop the bomb baby this is it this is the this is the style points this is the style points i think bondi is creating a real good universe for dragon ball games I, if you guys see it they're creating a universe for dragon ball games and i think it's gonna be fun if you guys like this little elaboration on the V-Jump skin, just basically giving it to you, showing you guys what it is, and then get elaborating on it to say, like, this is their final product. This, this is their way of showing, like, okay, this is our timeline. This is our roadmap here. This is what we got. I think we ready to, to hand it out, right? I think this is, like, the practice sheet before the work comes in. I don't know. Whatever you want to compare it to. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new. We can also more Dragon Ball Sparking Zero content. Peace.